Ooh, now what's going on, man? Look what we got here. Look what we got here. We got a Door Destiny and we got Fluffy on the same screen. Hey, when the baddies link up, you know what I'm saying? My first time filming a movie with real Fluffy TV in Atlanta. Oh, so y'all got y'all got another movie coming? Hmm. Destiny, I seen the movie Destiny was in it. John was hard. You feel me? So I'm, I'm trying to see what, what what other movie she gonna star in. She a good actor. Anyways, let's get into it, dog. Yeah. Movie stop big truck. I'm so excited. That's exactly what I want. I need a big black truck. Like a big one. Big ass, either Cadillac, Wagoneer, or Durango. I think I want to go Durango though. Or AMG. Anyways, I need a big black truck, man, so I can fit all the baddies in there, man. I need about seven or eight of them in there, man. They're gonna be lapped up and there might be fifteen of them in there. You don't even know. I might bring two or three trucks. You know what I'm saying? I need me one of them for real. I ain't even gonna cap, I need one. Hey, what's up, my adorbs? <laughs> Last night I had a blast. Like I literally had the time of my life. Like I really enjoyed that. It like made me feel like I was a kid again. I haven't had that much fun in forever. That's good. Right now I feel ready to go on my flight. Like I told y'all, I gotta go to Atlanta. Um, I'm about to film for another movie with the same people that I, well, not the same people, but the same, um, the same producer there we go. Okay. that um, did this in it. I'm going to be working with them again. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Okay. So right now, I'm just about to clean my lashes because I wore makeup last night and I need it clean. I can't find my dog on lash. Y'all girls are going through a while, I ain't gonna lie to you, because I would not be doing none of this. <laughs> in the bathroom, I gotta get my eyelashes, man. Oh, that just takes too much time. I can see it now. What? Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Barely get a haircut. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Still handsome, though. You know, I ain't like... But, yeah. Hey, I give it to y'all, man. Y'all be going through a lot. Wax? <laughs> Wax nothing. <laughs> I ain't going through none of that. <laughs> like, right? But y'all women, y'all go through all of that. And it looks beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. I just like being a man, man. You know what I mean? I like having hair on my legs. You know what I mean? I like, I like being a man. You feel me? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Too many girls out here, you say. It's fire though. Was she cleaning it up and everything? It's fire though. Like, I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> I was waiting for her. I was waiting for her. I can just tell by her bottom lip. She be pulling that lip out, lip out a lot. She always pouting. <laughs> I can just tell. It's alright. It's alright though. You better do it old fashioned. Old fashioned. Is it working for me? You feel me? Fuck that technology. You stuck on technology and do that shit old fashioned, man. Still get the job done. Take a piece of paper or something. You gotta hey, start sweating that motherfucker. Well, you know how we was in church. It's hot in here. Remember, throw me a piece of paper. Everybody in that bit like, woo! 
It's hot, Pastor. Hurry up and get us out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, good old fashioned way, man. Forget that technology. Forget the technology, man. Old fashioned, man. God gave you everything you need already. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some behind the scenes, too. I don't care. Oh, that'll work, too. The blow dry, that'll work. And I lost my voice, so yeah, I know I sound raspy. I don't care. <laughs> I'm <tired of> <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to skip a little bit, y'all. We're going to skip a little bit, y'all. I want to skip to the part when they start doing the movie scene and everything. She getting pretty. She already pretty, but she getting, she getting, she doing her, she doing her thing, you know? We're going to skip a little bit. They got a smile, okay, bet. <laughs> you think you know, really, I, I think it was the people that I went with. I really hate that. It was like, you know, like, two out of ten. Two out of ten. Love it, love it. Keep the memories. Look, I, I was gonna be around like genuine good vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, just. Yeah. That hit the birds? It's six in the morning. I had woke up like two. I always wait around two though. Um, but what I was gonna say was, man, I was at the park yesterday and um, this girl had four kids, four kids, right? That's beside the point, right? The, but the fact was she locked the keys in the car. And then her spare keys, she was saying she normally keep on the stroller. She left that in the car too. So me having a con heart, y'all know how I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm mean, but I got a kind heart, right? So I'm like, bro, let me try to help this girl get in this car. Like, I, I've been locked out my car before. I know how I can feel. I'm like, I live around here. Maybe, you know, and then, you don't even know that you live around here or you never know, or you know that, right? So she told me, shut up. She was like, hey, man, I ain't even called AAA yet. I'm like, ooh. I was like, okay, I see what's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see what's going on. I seen all the dents and bumps on the car. I'm like, oh gosh. I'm like, well, let's try to open up the door. I'm pulling the door. Couldn't get the thing open. So we got a rock. Her son was like, her son was like, I told you, ma, just hit the window with the rock. <laughs> I was like, hold up now. Which window are we gonna hit first? Because she was gonna hit the front window. And I'm like, do you really want to ride around with missing a front window? Like just mentally. She had a truck, so. We like, nah, bro, let's just hit the back side window. Not the back window, but the side. You know what I mean? That you easily fix that one. Easily fix the front windows too, but it's just like riding around with no front windows is just weird. Like, you know what I mean? You ever had your window like just off? It's raining and stuff. You got all that water coming in, man, man. Come on, bro. Now if it's coming through that back windows in the back into the trunk, it ain't as bad, right? We can always seal that up, right? But got the window. Got the, all the glass chipped off. She did the most of that. I ain't even did hey, I let her do it. It's your car. You feel me? It's your car. You need to do hey, I'm going to be here with you, but you got to do it. Right? So she hit the one. She said, <gasps> she like, give me a second. I got to breathe. My emotions. I got to breathe. I said, oh, yeah, you a girl. I said, okay. She's like, all right, I'm ready. Let's let's go ahead and finish it up. I got to get in my car. I got to do that. She got done what she had to be done. And I was just like. I ain't want the girl number or nothing, but she asked for my number. She's like, oh, can I get your number? Everybody just looking at me and everybody just kept walking past me. Nobody said nothing. And I was like, it's not the fact that they didn't want to help you. It's just that's how people it is, right? They'll watch you while you sitting there. You in misery. You ain't got no food. You ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? They just let you suffer. Me personally, I'm like, I got a kind of heart, man. I'm like, at least I want to try and see if I can do something, right? The Rock was the last choice, but let's try something. And me personally, I always, uh, what would God do? What would Jesus do? You know what I'm saying? If he was in that predicament, he was walking past and he seen someone needed help. That's just how I look at life. But you cannot expect everyone to look at life that way. You can't expect everybody to see the positives, right? So I seen somebody in a negative situation and I showed them the light. And that's what I really, truly believe a lot of us are here for. I ain't trying to take her out of her predicament. I ain't trying to take care of her for old children. I ain't trying to do none of that. I ain't even trying to do nothing with her. You feel me? At all, right? No intentions. No intentions at all. No expectations, no intentions. I just want to make sure her kid and her was straight. That was literally it. 
as far as them getting in the car and getting home. But yeah, good vibes. It was what, what I was getting to. It was great vibes, you know, and I felt it, right? Vice versa, right? I see it in her cheeks. I see it in your cheeks. You can tell. If you look at somebody, look, Destiny. If you look at somebody, you can tell in their cheeks. If their cheeks are like puffery, puckery, like that, you can tell that they smile a lot because the muscles are, have been trained, right? But you can tell when somebody don't smile a lot, their cheeks go down like this. And then they face down here, they go down like this. They like have like that wimping face, like they don't smile much. They don't really have much to say. They kind of sad and born. But smile who smile, you gonna see the smile. You gonna see the teeth. You can hear the smile through the conversation on the phone. What you doing, man? Yo, I just got up, man. Da da da. You, you can hear. You can hear the excitement. You can hear the energy. You can hear the god life force with inside of them. Someone who's down and out. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I ain't even got no. I ain't even ready yet. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't want to talk to nobody like that. That's boring. And that's why a lot of y'all women be with these boring ass men. You want that? I mean, you don't want somebody too excited. You know what I mean? He call you at five minutes. What you doing? What you at? You don't want somebody too excited. But you want somebody who's, you know what I'm saying? Balanced. Balanced, bro. Balanced. Between the masculine and feminine. Balanced, right? Good vibes. Good vibes. Most of the girls that I've been around that actually, like, we vibed, we had a vibe. Like, it was a vibe. Like, you know what I mean? It was something that we didn't have to speak about it. We didn't have to say, oh, I like you, you like me. It was just, it was something that was unspoken. You know what I mean? It was always a great vibe. Anytime we went, it didn't matter if they called me three, four in the morning. It didn't matter if it was a, it was a holiday. It didn't matter if it, it was a random day, it just coming in town. It's just like, yo, Ian, what up? Uh, link up or yo, what you doing? Uh, come to the city or what you doing? Uh, come to this event, da, da, da. Or, oh, meet me somewhere, da, da. It's always vibes, right? It wasn't no hassle. And no hassle, I ain't had to put in no extra work. It wasn't no bullshit going on. It wasn't no manipulation going on. It was nothing like that. No deception. It was straight vibes. And I told my friend that yesterday. I was like, man, to be honest, I ain't never got set up before. Because I, I can I can tell off of the conversation if the vibe's going to be good or not. You know what I mean? I can tell. A girl texts me. She's saying, hey. I'm like, yo, what up? What's going on? Nothing. Them vibes bad. I'm, I'm through with that. She might not even get text back until like a couple of days later. So she might not get text back at all. Cause like the conversation, the vibe is in, ain't there. She ain't got no type of conversation. None. She's just bored. Basically, she texts me bored. I can see it through the text message. I'm not finna throw my energy into that. Oh, what you got going on today? You trying to link? You trying to? I'm not doing none of that. Right? I learned that it's easier to just be a man. <laughs> you feel me? And what I'm saying by when I was what I'm saying, and I'm gonna tell y'all real quick. And then we're going to get back to the video. By you just playing your part, playing your role, like, just chilling. Like, a man just chilling, just vibing, right? She going to be like, yo, what you on? What you got going on today? What you doing? You ate anything? She going she gonna, she gonna to come to you. I promise you. I promise you. And if she don't, that means she cannot tell who you are. Right? Listen to what I'm saying. If she don't come to you, she don't know who you are. If she don't know who you are, that's totally fine. That means you're not for her. It's literally that simple. Because all the girls that actually genuinely like me, they jumped on my dick, nigga. They jumped on me. I'm talking about they hopping on my shit. They could not leave me alone. It didn't matter if my mama told, told them to leave me alone. They still come into the house. You see what I'm saying? That's It's a different type of energy. And that's because they understood they couldn't find me nowhere else in life. You're not going to find me. You're not going to find this personality nowhere else but with me, right? And once they once they learn that, once they understand that about you, right? They learn that you you are who you are. And they know they can't find that nowhere else. That's like with a, with a baddie, right? And let's say she break up with a nigga, right? He know for a fact he's not going to find another one like that. It don't matter how good she look. It don't matter none of that. He know for a fact he's not going to find that again. And that's where the vibe come in. That's where those personalities come in. That's where the inner energy, what's on the inside, comes out, right? And of course, people won't actually admit that. They're not going to be like, yo, 
you a vibe, yo. You the best person I've ever been around, bro. You got the best personality. You, they're not gonna say that. And that's totally fine. They gotta, they gotta glaze you up. They gotta toot your horn. That's totally fine. You know what I mean? You should be confident in yourself to know who you are. You know what it is and what it ain't, right? Come on now. Being honest, bro. But yeah, the vibes, bro. The vibes. Good vibes, man. It's just something different. And it's cool, like, like I said, you can be around your homies and you can go through all this negative stuff. But when you around some good vibes and you're around some good people, bro, I'm telling you, it's totally different. It's rare. I always go to the club and pop bottles and, you know, be infectious to our and have fun. And that's like was a perfect example of that, like for real. So I'm gonna go get my bag and stuff together. I'm gonna let y'all know when I get in the car and go on the way to the airport. So I weigh my bag and guess what? I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> guess what? It's not overweight. <laughs> It's not over with. It's And you on time. I'm so, so proud of me. I hope I have a great, smooth trip, flight. I'm probably not going to go to sleep. I'm probably going to eat it on the plane. So I can get some blogs dropped as soon as I land. I'll update y'all whenever I get to the airport. I'm only about, like, mm, 10 to 12 minutes away from the airport. Okay. And I'm probably gonna most likely eat when I get there. Just to kill a little time. Hopefully, the airport I'll pack. So, yeah, catch y'all later. And it always. So, I made it to the airport. Oh, no, I'm sure. I dropped off my bag already in the bag drop off. Now I'm walking to TSA. Oh, yeah. Everything's going well. I ate before I got here. I stopped at Jackie Rock. It's like five minutes away. Cheaper. I'm happy. I can move it. Airport food be expensive for no reason. One thing about this airport, Same every stuff. time I come in here, I won't even be hungry or I won't even be like craving nothing. But as soon as I walk in the airport, I walk past all these things and then I want like, True. I think that's how they get you. True. The line's not that too. The line's True. not that long today. So, hopefully it's not too cold in Atlanta. Oh. It's usually always kind of chilly. What? Out there, but it was hot. It have been hot. That's only the last time you came. It'd be hot in Atlanta. Even when it'd be 40 degrees, I'd be sweating. It's hot in Atlanta. It is hot. To me, that's ridiculous. I don't even understand it no more. I can't even tell the, tell the temperature no more. Yesterday was 70. No, yesterday was 68. It felt like 90. I was sweating, literally, everywhere. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> so I can imagine when it's 90. Oh my God, bro. People gonna be crashing into each other, man. It's gonna be too hot. People gonna be aggravated. I, I can just imagine. You know what I mean? When it's too hot, oh my gosh. I'm talking about, I ain't wearing no underwear. I already stopped wearing underwear like three years ago. But it's just like, I'm definitely gonna be, I'm throwing them shits away at this point. <laughs> like, what the fuck, nigga? I don't even see how people wear them shit. Like I said, there'd be too much going on. Them, them girls don't be having no underwear on either. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. They be having them, them be having a dress on. They got, they got the sundress on with the pussy out. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that right now. I've been living in Atlanta for so long. I'm just letting you know that right now. Yes, you're gonna see everything. <laughs> Just say what it is. So I have to buy some new freaking headphones. Too much. I don't know where my headphones are, and I'm not about to get on this plane with no headphones. And I need to edit. So, yeah. Brought me some temporary headphones. I'm about to say, don't they give you some headphones when you get on the plane? Shout out to this little thing. So I made them to my game. I'm about to see 
just show y'all I got a call from you. And I said I wasn't getting anything in the right. airport because I stopped somewhere before I came. Right, you ended up getting headphones, you didn't get no coffee. It's just like, you got to stick to your word, man. You got to stand on your word. When you say anything, you mean anything. You know you need headphones, but you, you said you weren't going to get nothing. Are you going back on your word? That's like, that's crazy. I ain't going to lie, that's ludicrous. You got to stick to your word no matter what. No matter what. I don't care what it is. Stick to your word. That is literally all you have. Right? Your character is based upon your word. Right? Your mind, body, and soul is based upon your word. If you can't keep your word, man, I can't trust you. And literally, it could be something so simple. Because I, I, I had homies who'd be like, man, I ain't going to spend nothing. I'm like, all right, cool. As soon as you walk somewhere, go somewhere, they spending money. And then turn around, they looking at you like, oh, uh, you got $10, bro. You got 50 You got 100 Man, what about that money you just spent? But they don't, they don't want to talk about that, though. Man, you got to stick to your word, man. Stick to your word. You know what I'm saying? For real. Stick to your word, please. As soon as I step in this airport, I always be wanting something, and I don't be needing it. That's my problem right there. Mm -hmm. She said it. She wanted. She wanted. That don't mean you need it. You, you exactly said that right. You want it. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I want a lot of stuff, Destiny. Trust me on that. <laughs> I want a lot of stuff, trust me, but that don't mean I need it. You know what I mean? I don't mean it's going to make my life any type of better because my life is already good. God made my life great. Do you feel me? I'm great, man. I got gratitude for my life. So, somebody be like, yo, you want some lobster and steak? I mean, it's cool. I don't need it, though. Damn, bro, I just made the dish for you. It's totally fine. I don't need it. But, you know, I'll take it if you made it for me. That's cool. Like, you got to start looking at life that way. Like, the only thing you need in life is God, right? Everything else is the extra. You already the cake. He's just adding a little sprinkles on top, just a little extra on top. You already the whole table. He just got to add a little extras on top. You see what I'm saying? Like, so you don't need anything. That's what's wrong with humans now. Like you said, they see it and then they want it. Just like little kids, they see it, they go into the store, ooh, I want this, I want that, I want that. Adults are the same way. Y'all weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, weird. Like, if you don't, like, as an adult, you should understand marketing, right? You gotta market yourself, so you should understand marketing, you should understand what all this has. I go, I go, if I wouldn't, if I go into the mall, I go to the mall and get what I want, right? And then I leave. I get exactly what I want and I leave. I'm not finna go into the grocery store. I get exactly what I needed and I'm going out. I'm not gonna finna go and buy this and buy that and buy this and buy that and buy that and that just because I see it. I'm not doing it, right? No, I'm not doing that. But that's called discipline, man. Discipline. You gotta discipline yourself. Everybody ain't got discipline. Everybody ain't got discipline. That's totally fine. Everybody got discipline, that's totally fine. Discipline yourself, girl. It take them time to tell yourself no. Machine broke down, so nobody can get their luggage. It's stuck. It's always something going on. Like they really need to upgrade the machines. Like they haven't changed these machines out since I. 
they haven't changed the machines up. Period. They they upgrade everything else on the airport, but they don't really upgrade certain things, and they need to they need to start putting in more. <laughs> oh man, hey, you gotta stop saying that too. Um, your uh your perception, your perception is gonna give you exactly what you're saying. So if you think every time I go to Atlanta airport I'm gonna have problems, then every time you go there you're gonna have problems. Literally, the universe is going to give you and hand you out problems because you're saying that's what you want. You're literally speaking it out. I would never do that. Don't ever do that again. Last part of manifestation, that's a law of attraction. You never do that. You go there and be like, man, you know, everything is good. I ain't having no problems. They having problems. It's not me. You don't say, you see what I'm saying? So they having problems, you know, the machine might be down, but it's totally fine. Don't, don't take it on. You taking on their problems because you ain't got your luggage. But don't take their problems on. That's don't fuck with your emotions. Now you all of a sudden you like, man, I need a drink. Man, I might need a hook. I might need a blunt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now you looking for other stuff. I need, uh, they, uh, you see what I'm saying? So you don't allow something outside of you control the inside of you. You sit back and be like, all right, they going to give me my luggage regardless. And if they don't, <laughs> I'm attached to that. <laughs> right? Because you're a boss, right? Simple. Right, or you take a carry on, right? You take a carry on. That way, you ain't got to worry about this. You got the luggage with you. You going straight to the to the to the to the, to the rental to the car, straight to the B and B. You Gucci. You ain't got to worry about none of this. Especially if you've been flying a lot, you kind of understand some of these things, right? But again, don't allow it to change your emotions and how you feel like you just had a good time with your friends and stuff like that and it's a little it's a little you know sometimes 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 gotta do this just to slow you down a little bit just to you know what i mean just just chill out you already been moving and working and running just chill out for a second my experience every time i come out here is just focused you gotta immediately bring down all the bags because the machine is I figured that though. I was finna tell you that. I was finna tell you you gotta go up there and go get your bag. <laughs> Cause that's what I would I would climb up there and just start pushing the bags out. That's exactly what I would have did. Security would be like, hold up, man, get down, man, we gonna do it. I'm like, well, y'all taking too long. And I'm 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 blunt like that. I would have been like, y'all taking too long. I need to get my bags and I got places to go. I'm blunt like that. <laughs> I'm like, y'all need to come do y'all job. <laughs> that's just me. You know what I mean? Personally, I just tell the truth. I'm like, the machine ain't working, I'm finna get my bag. Hey, I climbed through the thing and everything to get my bag. It is what it is. And everybody else's bag, too. I slide them all out. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling y'all about my heart. My heart's so big that I do things most people won't do. Most people won't do. I see somebody fly out the air, airplane. I'm putting the parachute on. I'm jumping out with them. I'm trying to go save them. I know they ain't got no parachute, but I got the parachute. I'm going down, grabbing them. I'm, I'm releasing the parachute. Come on now. But most people won't do that. They're not going to jump out the plane. And that's why, that's why I be telling y'all, man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta know who these people is and know who these people ain't. You feel what I'm saying? Know who these people is and know who these people ain't. See what I'm saying? All right, we're going to leave it at that. We ain't going to say too much on that. Because that's a deep topic right there. We ain't going to talk too much on that one. <laughs> you better, Because everybody won't do that for you, I promise you that. They're going to let you die. I just made it to my Airbnb. Hey. Uh, it was so fucking fun. Okay, okay. Ooh, that sounds like nice. That is so happy. So, let's do... The only thing I don't like about it... Why they ain't got them? Why they ain't got none of the blondes clothes? They got the blondes, literally all the blondes. Everything is open, just like but it's nice. It's all white. I like it. Oh, sure. Ooh. We'll be this together because Sound good. Too. Here's one of okay. So let's see. Two bedroom, three bedroom. What's going on? Two bedroom. Ooh. Show me. Show the closet. Just, uh, and, it sound, it sound like an Atlanta house. <laughs> I live in Atlanta, so I'm like, it sound like Atlanta, all that damn wood. Then it's so quiet, it sound like Atlanta house. Oh. Because it doesn't smart. Okay. Dang. 
I ain't gonna lie. Anybody walking upstairs, you hear all of that all all night long. Play this Go to sleep. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's pretty nice. Another one. Ooh, I like that round double bed. Hey, get your butt in that bed. I'm in this bed. Ain't no cuddling going on. Get your ass over <laughs> Who needs separate beds? Get your butt over there. I don't like sleeping in the bed with other people. I like sleeping naked. So, we can't sleep in the same bed. I'm sorry. We just can't. That ain't working. That ain't gonna work, bruh. You wake up in the morning, me on your knee, you don't know what's going on. That ain't that ain't gonna work. It always happens. So, it ain't gonna work. Nah. You gotta go in the other Matter of fact, go in the other room. <laughs> go in the other room. Just because I got a fire or something. Go in the other room. You go sleep in that room. I'm in this room. See you in the morning if you want. I let the door unlocked though if you want to come in. But yeah, you take your ass over there. <laughs> you see how it worked, y'all? Yeah, just in case, you know, everybody needs a little privacy. Just in case you want to get on the phone conversation, man, take that in the other room. You feel what I'm saying? Just in case you want to snore a little bit, take that shit over there. <laughs> Don't do that around me. <laughs> I need a picture black. You might need a nightlight, man. Go in the other room. <laughs> I'm loving this though. It's pretty clean and nice, and spacious. I love it. That's nice. Okay. Pretty big. Big closet. Yeah. That's Atlanta for you though. Everything big. Super cute in here. That's nice. Okay. This all just for you, Destiny? Man, hey man, hit me up, man. We finna have a party, man. I'll bring, <laughs> you feel me? I'll bring a bus load, man. We have 50 bitches in that bit, man. What the heck? <laughs> Excuse my language. We'll have 50 women in there. Cute. <laughs> like, this thing too nice. Okay, let me go downstairs. Ooh. Come back up here. Oh, is it downstairs too? Hello, now. What's going on? You cooking? I see in the kitchen. You cooking? She cooking. You cooking, Destiny? You gonna be in that thing cooking? I'm gonna see yeah, we're in the basement. We got theater down there. What's going on? It's nice. Okay, take your time now. Okay. Okay. Like okay. Good. Who trying to get played in foosball? If you lose, you know, you know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we do we do some uh some uh some uh, shots. We throw some shots. Some uh some some whatever. We throw the ball. <laughs> I can't even remember what the shit called right now. You throw the ball. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That'd be cool. Okay, yeah, it's nice. Okay. Super cute down here. It's a really big house. Yeah, it's really big. Huh? Okay, okay. Ooh, more rooms. I need a bathroom. Two, three. It's a nice room, too. Yeah, someone already called dibs in this room. Oh. It's warm down here. I'm going to throw my pants off. Another room. Damn. Another room. All these rooms in here. Right. And they talk about. It's in my head. There's another room. That was four rooms that we've seen so far. Maybe five. Somebody already Airbnb that room out down there. Uh, I don't want to be in the house with somebody else that I don't know. I don't know. Oh, or, or maybe she talking about somebody that was part of the cast or something or something. Possibly. Okay. Still. Yeah. Oh my own shit. <laughs> They get, man, hey man, I, I ain't even finna say nothing. <laughs> I ain't even finna say nothing. It's another room. <laughs> another room. I didn't this is like the theater room. That's the actual theater room? Yeah. I like that. Okay, okay. They do some of these walls though, anyway. Right. Them walls in there should be blacked out. The theater room. Super cute in here. Oh, that's fire to take that toe thing though, the big one. Yeah. Outside. What's that backyard? Oh. Oh. Little gym equipment. Right. Basketball. I'll be in there in the morning. Then what's that way? What's the, wait, go back. There's another door. Go down. Go back. Go back. There's <laughs> another door over there, Destiny. Go back. I think it's a basement. Go back. We're trying to see. She like, nah, we ain't going over there. <laughs> so the area. Ooh. Look 
at that. There's no blinds. Y'all hear what I'm saying? There is no blinds nowhere. Shit. <laughs> all the neighbors see you. Like, all day, all night long with all them day. They got all the lights on right now just to show it off. Ooh. Turn, turn all them lights off. <laughs> We're cozy and cute in here. Nah, it's nice. I thought you had a one piece suit on, a white one. I'm about to say, dang. I got too excited. Cool. Ooh, ooh. That's nice. So cute. It's Actually, that, that house is that house is nice. It's all brick. I like it. Over there too, but it's dark. Basketball court. Ooh, okay. I'll show y'all when it's. That's Sunday, nice. Yeah, that's nice, y'all. We have to be on set. <laughs> they got a fire alarm right there. Then, yeah, lock all that up, man. Lock all of that up. But this house is super cute. I like it. Okay, Jonathan, you did your big one. Right, that one nice. Oh, uh, Jonathan, shout out to Jonathan, man. He definitely did his thing. I'm picking this one. This is a good one. It looks safe and everything. Good. Good. You picked a good spot. Another mm. bathroom. <laughs> like, there's like eight bathrooms in here. That's good. And then the washroom. Good morning, my daughter. I was finna, I, I would have been skipped all the way to the end of the video just to get what the title was about, you know what I'm saying, normally, but instead I was like, man, we, we can tune in with Destiny, we can watch a little bit here and there, whatever the case may be, you feel me, hair looking good, can I say it, don't say it, okay, don't say it, I mean, I'm, you know I'm gonna say it, I'm, I'm, I'm about to say it, I'm about to say, I don't like the streaks in your head, it make you look old. I'm just letting you know that right now. These little streaks you got going on, these little white streaks, it make you look like you got white hair, like you got gray hair going on in there. Just saying. Anytime I see a girl with them streaks in there, I be like, oh my gosh. I mean, we understand you're not old, but you feel me? It make you look old, like, uh, you a cougar? <laughs> like, I start questioning, like, how did you say you were? You sure? <laughs> like, ain't nothing wrong with it or nothing, is it? Yeah. I don't like it personally, I'm just saying. <laughs> Once your hair turned gray, man, just let the whole thing turn gray. That's fire to me, you know? The blonde or gray hair, I man, ooh. You feel me? Like, ooh. Like, it's a black girl and her hair is gray naturally? Ooh, my God. You feel me? Like, ooh, she's an angel for real, right? <laughs> but, you know, most most of the women, they, they dye their hair. I don't know why, though. I, I, let that thing turn gray, man. Let that thing be nice and, and white and it's, ooh. But y'all always hated streaks, though. That was just one thing I hated. I already got mic'd up, y'all. I forgot to show y'all. <laughs> Typical me. <laughs> We're running through lives right now. My character's name is Veronica. This is my cast husband. I know. What's going on, y'all? His name is Keith. I'm Keith. <laughs> Keith and Veronica. So yeah, we just went through these lines trying to make sure we got this down packed. Okay? For sure. I think we make a good team. For sure, for sure. Most definitely. We make a good team. Yeah, it's there, it's there. Because we know what the fuck going on. We know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we're good. All right, let me get back to work. You want to use this one? Just bite that same So I'm going to flip it I'm going to I can just see it in the whole video. It's just like... We just finished the, what's he was at? C8. He's taking off my mic. Mm -hmm. 
picking up my mic pack. We do it. We run through these things. Right, man. We run through these things. We make you proud. She doing her thing, yo. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to ask you, though. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to tell y'all my secret. Mm-hmm. So I thought we was done with this thing, but <laughs> Rex wants to be extra. <laughs> yeah, he want to be sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. And then. Most of the people that do these shows, that's what I was saying. Y'all see he using the iPhone, right? Most of these people use the iPhone. Like, I used to shoot music videos with the iPhone. That was back in 2013, 14. That was back when the iPhone wasn't even that good, but it still looked good. It was 1080. Now we got the iPhone 15s. You got 4K. You got 8K. You can shoot real movies with that thing, man. <laughs> so don't sleep on it. Well, how you doing? Keep that man. Alright, let's see the scene. Let's see. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll on the river. Roll it, 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 but y'all see he got a stabilizer, right? You definitely need a stabilizer. It'll help it seem and appear as if it's a real camera because it's stable, right? Or get a tripod stand, but that don't always work. Stabilizer will work a little better because you can get better angles. You can get better angles. You get up under people and you know, over top of them, right? Instead of having that big stand, you're trying to hold that or have the big red camera on top of your shoulder. You're over here doing this and that. You know what I mean? I've been in video production for a long time since basically high school you know what i mean so it's just like come hand in hand all right you know also did photography for a little bit music videos and stuff like that did all that i did little skits i'm about to start doing more skits though <laughs> Say big fluffy. Oh, she's pulling out presidential. Yo, big black truck. Oh, you pulling out presidential. Can't ride or nothing else. <laughs> now, nah, if you know, you know. Like, don't ever ride or nothing else unless it's black. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's like you always gonna have some type of hassle if it's a different type of car. I'm just saying. They they tire might get flat. Yeah, you know I mean, like you never know what's gonna happen. You never know who's gonna pick you up. But when it's a black truck. You know, you pulling a presidential, you know, whoever driving the truck obviously got business about them. You know what I mean? You know, they're going to be respectful, right? That's the reason why they go black. Instead of just having some random person come pick them up that was close by. Right? Everybody don't want everybody know where you live. You don't want everybody to know where you live, right? Sometimes you might tell the Uber, man, pick me up at my neighborhood house. Pick, pick me up at the beginning of the neighborhood. Be like, hey, you know what I mean? So, you know. But yeah, you got to ride black truck for sure. Look at my girl. Oh, she pulled up president child. Okay, look. Hi, sir. <laughs> Hi, sir. <laughs> look at her. Okay. It's my girl Fluffy Fight Movie. Stop playing. I'm so excited we get to work together. It's like. <laughs> Thank you. All 
anticipation for the show and now I'm like oh I can't wait to see it right this ain't just for our YouTube views this for the movie views too what you talking about this has us like oh I can't oh fluffy in it oh oh we got destiny in it too oh then we seen Brody we like Brody cool we trying to see we trying to see how that you know what I'm mean? saying yeah it's gonna be nice this is promotion this is what y'all need this is what y'all want you know what I mean this gonna bring the people in I'm definitely gonna watch it I watched the last uh, movie she was in. I'm definitely gonna watch it. I'm definitely gonna watch it. And if y'all doing this production, I'm definitely gonna watch it. Cause that last one, it reminded me of my life. You feel me? It reminded me of my daily life. You feel me? Of people doing the right thing, wrong thing, hood stuff. It's just like, that's normal for me. Like every day, right? Always in the hood, right? So it's like, hmm. It just reminded me of life. Like, cause normally what you get on the internet, you get people trying to portray they perfect and they this and they that and that. You know what I mean? The movies, the skits, you know what I'm saying? The pranks and stuff, it kind of give you that backside of life, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just reminds you, man. It ain't always sweet. <laughs> it ain't always sweet sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it get a little rough out here, right? Oh, you're That was hard. Enjoy the destiny. I enjoyed it. That was fire. I'm hungry myself. I think it's seven o'clock in the morning right now. Let me see. Yeah, it's seven thirty right now. I'm gonna go get me some breakfast. <clears throat> see y'all, bro. I'll probably make me um uh what I want this morning. All right, I know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a um I'm gonna get a smoothie. But what I do is I'm gonna tell you how I make it. Put the banana bananas in it and stuff like that, right? Because I can't eat bananas regular, right? Because I just can't. So I gotta put in a smoothie. You know what I'm saying? I drop the oatmeal in there, man. I might put some brown cinnamon and stuff like that, man. Mix it all together. And I'll be good for at least until about two, four o'clock. Be good. So it'll give me a good six to seven, eight hours of, you know, fullness. You know what I mean? Skin gonna look radiating good from the bananas and stuff like that. Got the water in and stuff like that. Um, go have a good morning, bro. Finna get a workout in. I already worked out this morning, but I'm finna work out again. This be my second set, or my well, technically it'd be my second round. It won't be no set, for real, for real. But uh, yeah, catch y'all in the next one. Destiny, man, keep dropping them bangers, man. I ain't gonna lie, this is a good video. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Peace.